Hello, welcome to the treehouse. Yes, this is my treehouse. This is where I'm recording videos. And I'm trying to make them so they're clear enough. I, I kind of have a low resolution camera. But anyway, here is a little uh, sketch I did today of um, the process you're going through for this the first assignment, cross contour topography. And the first process, of course, is to do five thumbnails. And this is basically something like this or this. And you want to think compositionally, which means the scale within the frame, positive, negative space. You can think of the shadow as kind of another object helping to create directionality. Um, and try to avoid the lonely island syndrome where you just have a little shadow and a rock in the middle of this border. Uh, you want to have a sense of the yin yang. There's this, and then there's that. Or you know, it's it's very simple, but still it helps. Uh, after that, um, you you want to pick which three quarter view you're going to be doing. And here's uh, something I'm showing that shows a very simplified geometric concept of this, um, which is kind of like an upside down bread pan, uh, top, front, side. That's the basic three quarter. Even though it's got this complex, weird valley in the middle of it and, and all this other stuff going on, um, I still um, want you to think of it in those terms. And then you can create a version that is a little more complex. It also helps to create an orthographic. Uh, for this, I did the top, which was this here, the top. Then the side, that's actually from the other side. So that's the peak there, right there. And the front, which is this little thing here, seeing some of the back from that as well. By doing the orthographic, what that gives you is a sense of, you know, how does this shape read as that? Uh, personally, I think that this one reads better than this larger version. I kind of uh, probably should have extended this a little bit more out this way um, to really get a sense of that thing moving out. Uh, but once you've uh, got where you're going to do it, you want to think in terms of um, axis in perspective. So we want the longitudinal uh, axis going at an angle, not at a horizontal or a vertical on the page. Uh, you want to nuance the major planes, which is basically what this is doing. And then um, uh, get into your secondary forms, uh, which the valley is a secondary form. Um, this, in this divot here, um, all that. And then uh, the tertiary forms are the more fine things that are going on. Those are going to be illustrated with the cross contour. So... Once you've got this, uh, it, it's wise to find raised spots and valleys and to mark those uh, in terms of the directionality of where you're going to be going with the cross contour. So, for instance, here I marked a line going along here, which made it so that when I came down here, I knew when to turn down because that's a downward facing plane. So that was a ridge line right there. Uh, right here, similar thing, right there, I came down and then could turn and then turn again. Okay, so you can find, and here's a little ledge right here, which is another coming down and then jog and moving down. Uh, and then look, you see the red, how I took some cross contours just to show how the form was moving along here. Now I didn't do all these lines that way, but they just sort of informed me how to go. And you can see I take journeys like that, like this. This is bulbing over and then going down and there and there and there and there and there and down to there. Um, so that just helps you find the form. And then you just do this, you know. Um, and it's a slow process. You got to really look at what's going on with the rock and try to, to mimic that um, and uh, it's kind of like sculpting basically 
which is sort of the whole concept of the thing. So I just wanted you to see this. Uh, I hope it helps.